Ladies and gentlemen, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has ensured a massive global Muslim outreach. The chief of the Muslim World League has been visiting India. He's talking about pluralism in India. He's talking about taking on extremism. And he is building, and he's a very influential man with a deep network across the Muslim world. The entire Muslim world is building deep ties with India. This happens at a time when the Prime Minister in a few days will be visiting the United Arab Emirates. We haven't just bolstered ties with Muslim nations. We have strengthened them to an extent that has never been done before. So why are some paranoid? Let's debate. On a day that a record-breaking 4,314 Muslim women returned from the Hajj without Mehram. I think it's a very proud moment for, for all of us. And this is a moment of uh, women empowerment. That, uh, that so many women out there have gone without a male guardian. This shows the faith and the trust they have in the Indian passport. The Muslim World League Secretary General Sheikh Dr. Alisa spoke against extremism. وهذه الأمور من المهم أيضا أن نعمل عليها من جهتين. الجهة الأولى هي الوقائية. عقلية كل إنسان تتم صياغتها من الطفولة. ولهذا فالمدارس مهمة والأسرة أيضا مهمة في صياغة عقول الصغار. وهم أمل المستقبل بإذن الله. أما الأمر الثاني فهو العمل العلاجي لا بد أن يكون لنا تدخل في معالجة المفاهيم الخاطئة السلوكيات الخاطئة من أجل إصلاحها من أجل إيضاح الحقيقة. Fueled by petrol dollars in the 1970s, Salafism was a major export from Saudi Arabia on the ideological side, with some dangerous consequences for the rest of the world. Now, Dr. Al Isa speaks about a modern and moderate version of Islam at peace and in harmony with all religions of the world. In quoting him, the Modi government is sending across a message to India's Muslims that. All extremist ideologies are past their use by date, and interfaith dialogue is the way to go. أيضا أن المكون الإسلامي في جمهورية الهند مكون يعتز بوطنية يعتز بوطن الهند ندرك ذلك وندرك أيضا أنه يعتز بدستور الهند. At the India Islamic Cultural Centre, a larger outreach to the Muslim community was steered by NSA Ajit Doval. At a time when Islamic golden age was coming to an end with the Mongol capture of Baghdad at 1258, Indian heartland was quietly nurturing a Sufi renaissance with many sages and mystics spreading their message of peace and brotherhood. Prime Minister Modi's global Muslim outreach has become the focus. A significant transformation that has taken place in India UAE relations over the last few years. and. A central driver of this has been the vision of the two leaders, the President of the UAE and the Prime Minister of India. Both of them, of course, also enjoy excellent personal rapport, which is reflected in their very frequent engagements. The visit would come a month after the Prime Minister became the first to visit Egypt since 1997. The commitment to a united India was exemplified with the address at AMU three years ago. Our desh gariboon ke liye jo yojana hai bana raha hai, jo bina kisi mat majhab ke bed ke har var tak pahunch rahi hai, bina kisi bed ba. Will hardline elements within tame their position? Let's debate. Yeah.